I didn't grab one because I was uh, I was just kind of looking for a bag, and if I picked up any weapons, I didn't want to have to dump one out. So. <laughs> And then I go and chat <laughs> while I'm in the wrong channel again. Did what? I didn't bring a gun or a backpack because I was kind of hoping to pick one up, but there was no loot in Kaminka at all. And I'm, all I've seen here is uh, some fuel tank parts, so I'm sure I'll spot so something. You, so you're a, a dead duck if somebody comes by. Yeah, but I don't have any keys or anything important on me. I have one thing of mortar, and I'm bleeding out. <laughs> yeah. And you're bleeding out? Y yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm bleeding out. I wasn't too worried about it. I was kind of hoping I would have found something at the fire station, but and I wasn't bleeding at that time. But then I stopped to get back on my bike, and a zombie nabbed me up. And then I stopped at the the medical tents just outside, uh, just outside. Uh, Kaminka there between Kaminka and Belota and that was pretty much nothing in there so I figured I'd make my way look if there was any backpacks or anything around here I wasn't really too worried about a weapon Listen, as a, a new yeah always bring blood food and water weapon and a backpack wherever you go <laughs> never go without it leave home without it <laughs> right no matter what, if you're looking for shit, you always can drop an old backpack or a new one. I suppose. <laughs> that's a that's a good. It's not like you got weight restrictions. Right, right. Yeah, I don't know what the story is. Oh shit. <laughs> coming out of the woodworks, man. All those guys were hiding in there with me. Yeah, I kind of thought about bringing some gold and going to the wholesaler to buy some more stuff to build my brick walls up and, you know what I mean? I just, I thought I would yeah. find a backpack. I don't know, I was just experimenting, running around. I wasn't too huh. worried about dying, well. but... Did you check my base? At well, least my base is all locked up. Here. What's that? Uh, it's, not a, it's not about coming here and worry about dying. Or it's after you find everything and you look, you're kind of good backpack, kind of a bunch of supplies. Okay. But then I got you're no weapon. Back. There you go. To protect myself and to keep all the supplies that, that I gathered. Wasted. Right, right. You should have a pistol and you should have a rifle with ammo. Just take care of the zombies, at least. <laughs> I, I've just been running from the zombies. <laughs> I know, that's a horrible if plan. Use a silence, if you use a silence weapon, it won't alert the other the zombies. Right. But if you use a, a rare weapon, then they can hear that and come running. Yeah. I'll think about that next time I leave the house. I, I, I literally just put everything in my safe and then ran out the door. But if you stopped at my house, you'll see I locked everything up when I left. All right, I'll give you a little time, okay? You'll forget again. I'll, I'll come back and get you. <laughs> you know, you're probably right, man. All right, I'll see you later. All right, peace. Have fun, man.
Chris Tejas. Chris Tejas. This is my, this is my dad. Dad, JT. JT. Hey, you can. Is that the one that bites? No. no. Okay. Callie's the one who bites. Callie yeah. always bites. He is fat. I like to come up. Yeah, he's in there. <laughs> yeah, and guess where we keep our blankets? There's Callie. The one that bites. Yep. Well, I guess that answers my question. <laughs> oh, man. Good thing I wasn't carrying much. And, like I said before, being a member, you get the, the VIP loadout. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load in with some pretty decent gear anyways. So I'm not too worried about dying. I didn't actually pick up a whole lot of anything that was cool or worth keeping or anything like that.